How come your favorite stories are about us? We never kiss when they're around us. But when we sing, it's too loud. How come you only care about the outcome? When we're alone, we feel so crowded. And I fade into the background. It's like I'm always behind you, watching you move on. All I do is stay still, and you say I can't. Hi! Hey, hey man, what's up? What's up, what's up? I'm so sorry, Rust on a jump. No, it's fine, it's the obvious thing in Thailand. Yeah, yeah. Are you scared? Nervous? I'm nervous, not scared. I'm excited. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited too. This is Sean aka Lil Le. So I'm going to interview him in our very special show Light and Lens. So stay tuned with us and let's see I'm going to talk to you about the party. Hey guys, this is your host Anzila and Achkir Amadir Light and Lens special episode. We have a very special guest with us. Girls, brace yourselves. This is your <laughs> new crush in town. Sean aka Lil Late. So, hi Lil Late. Hello. How's everything? Everything's good. Okay, so Fine. we're gonna have a little bit chit chat with you about your music video, about your career and everything about you. I think our viewers want to know a lot of things about you because the new music video Oh gosh, it's breaking the internet. So we're gonna talk about it all and please be with us and let's see how the conversation are koto koto dige ja and let's see after our kiki jante part. So congratulations man. Thank you, thank this you so much. This music video is literally breaking the YouTube and uh, Facebook because it's really a new concept, like different. So um, like tell me about it. Um, so I'm with the music video too, I guess it was it, it happened out of nowhere. Okay. I was going to plan to make a music video. I mean, I wanted to make a music video, but mm -hmm. the idea was that I meet uh, America the Banabo, Banabo. Okay. but uh, um, I got very lucky and I met some very talented people. Okay. Um, you know, like uh, Ijaz Mehdi, Fad mm -hmm. Khan, these guys. Okay. Um, once we kind of met and started talking and they heard Worth It, mm -hmm. um, we started coming up with some ideas and then Asas it kind of just took off. It was a very organic process. Mm -hmm. So, worth it, the song, the music video, Facebook, it's, it's really different. So, uh, like, uh, did you have anyone in your mind, like, while you were writing this song? My it's, song it's, <laughs> it's so funny. I'm, it, this is the only song, okay. really, that I'm not writing. Okay. okay. So, other songs will come Okay, we will know about it. Know about it. <laughs> no, it's weird. Like, I'm, I was. This is also a really weird fact, but Amrsha melody idea mm -hmm. comes to me in the shower. So. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So yeah, yeah. So like, I was just in the shower, and then this this melody came in my head. So who are you even saying? I, You're I, worth it. You know, actually, like it was. I, I think it's based on a lot of relationships that okay. I've seen, a lot of relationships that maybe ah. mm -hmm. maybe even I was in, mm -hmm. but um, just that particular the lyrics didn't really come from any particular kind of uh, person? specific person okay. yeah so and also I wrote it with um, these two guys uh, they're also very talented guys Zed Tabani and Devesh Dayal um, and we kind of just wrote it together I guess so I'm other teen junior experience actually pool hoy a ganta I guess so yeah so uh, previously, uh, I've seen your three other songs in the SoundCloud. 3 a.m. is one of them. Yep. So wasn't it in the shower at 3 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like, no, I'm just no, asking. No. I'm no. curious. Um, like, 3 a.m. was definitely <laughs> that one. That one is definitely about someone. So. Someone. Okay. Yeah, yeah that was. Um, okay. Uh, so we are gonna disappoint a lot of girls. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. Fine. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, 3 a.m. is also, that one was like a really kind of emotional one for me, Aww. so yeah. Um, but, but no, it's also a cool song. Um, Particularly for someone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so is there anything you want to you wanna share about the song? Like, um, um, 3 a.m. Yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's kind of like, uh, it's a little darker. Um, I think it uh, kind of... So I, I think all my music kind of ranges on the spectrum mm -hmm. and it goes from like kind of R&B to hip hop to like alternative mm -hmm. which uh, people will hear going forward mm -hmm. as um, we put more music out but um, 
3 a.m. was like kind of one of those ones that I like listening to this kind of music. Okay. So it's it's my preferred genre. Okay. So we got uh, we style it with the So yeah. So whenever you were thinking about any song or uh, you know by writing any song, what type of genre gula mane you play with that? Oh, it's so hard because <laughs> I I actually I mean shop kichushuni. I listen to everything. I know people say that, but I genuinely like listen to everything. Okay. And so I also like a lot of music mm -hmm. and I always want to make music that I like. Mm -hmm. So that's why it kind of just jumps around. So okay. sometimes it'll be like a, a like a hip hop track or sometimes mm -hmm. like a really smooth R&B track. Okay. But then I also love alternative kind of like mm -hmm. just like check cow guns. So. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Okay. So yeah. Okay, so uh, like we have heard a lot about actually so far up our song Shop Kitchen So actually, tell me about you as a person. Where are you from and everything? Like I um, think there are a lot of people who don't want to yeah, like yeah. know so, about it. Uh, I was born in California. Okay. I was born in uh, Glendale, California, okay. in Los Angeles, okay. and. Um, I had like a weird, so I, because of my dad's like job and business, mm -hmm. we would spend one year over there mm -hmm. and one year here. Okay, so. so growing up, I mean, just moving, both organizations and moving around all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, like I like got to experience both cultures mm -hmm. a lot. Um, but I feel like I'm our formative years, I mean, Dhaka So I'm like, I feel like I grew up in Dhaka. Um, my Bangla doesn't reflect that, <laughs> but, okay, <that's> <laughs> but, but totally understandable. But no, um, totally. but yeah. no, yeah, like I, I, I feel when people ask me where are you from, I say I'm from Bangladesh. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and uh, and then I've kind of always been around art, uh, creative things because mm -hmm. my mom is an artist. Yeah. And so um, I would always like see her doing art and. She sang as well, mm -hmm. and so that was kind of always there too. Okay. Um, I've always been obsessed with acting in film. Gotcha. Okay. So, our goal chilo shop shomai jami, you know, actor hobo and film korbo and yeah, stuff like yeah. that, which and is. I think your dream came <laughs> true somehow. With no, 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 no. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's hopefully the plan in the future. You but, looked um, good, by the way. Oh, thank you, really? <laughs> thank, you no. thank you, thank you. Seriously. Um, but no, yeah, I mean. The, the music thing kind of came out of nowhere. Um, uh, I mean, I, when I look back, I can see the trail, I guess. Like, I, we were in a band, we used to sing and stuff. And, um, you know, I used to have these ideas all the time, but I never really thought of it like that. Um, but yeah. But I mean, then it happened. <laughs> okay, so when were you uh, actually making that video worth it yep. uh, with the t whole team? So what was actually going on in your mind? Like how to actually make this whole video or what type of concept that you want to adopt or anything yeah, that yeah, were um, going in your mind? So I was thinking a lot about, so I wrote this, this script originally. Um, and then I did like a storyboard for it, That's right, okay. and uh, we were working with um, Bongo at the time. Oh. So we were working with the people over there, mm -hmm. and they were giving us a lot of ideas. We were planning the whole thing, mm -hmm. and it kind of turned into this um, this project, you know, of mine and and my friend. And so mm -hmm. we contacted Ijaz Mehdi, who is based out of Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And we saw his work and we said we have to get this guy to direct this thing because he, in my opinion, is like one of the best up and coming directors, cinematographers right. from our, our country. Mm -hmm. um, and so once that happened, okay, script dao hai chilo. And he kind of took it, made it his own thing, mm -hmm. and it just started changing. We started planning, we started scouting locations everywhere. The whole thing was shot in Dhaka. Dhaka, oh yeah. wow, um, that's so, cool. Yeah, it was just in, in one house. Okay. And in, at Tien Yeah, Tien in, in Bojundar. We got really on board, okay. and, and then just everything kind of just came together. Okay. So yeah. So you just, um, like, how much are you happy with the 
video oh, like everything um, the output actually i have to say i mean like <laughs> as 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 an artist like i think or as any creative person you're never actual person just happy that yeah. oh yeah i'm like this is a masterpiece i don't think anyone ever feels that way yeah. and i mean when you do feel that way mm -hmm. um that's pretty cool i guess but i mean like <laughs> generally i don't think that's how it goes do so you feel this is very different like yeah, we I mean, most of the feedbacks are coming like this yeah, like yeah, it's a very been, different concept everyone's been very positive and i'm you know, I think we, all I know is that we did the best we could do. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm happy with that. Okay. I think I'm satisfied with the fact that Amr Shabai, Amr, made full effort Diachi and the whole thing, you know, came out as it did. Um, but I go back and I can still like point something out that, oh, I don't, oh, I don't like this thing. <laughs> my hair, oh my God, my hair looks so crazy in that video. It was very uh, hot and humid and so my hair got really Again, crazy. it looked good. <laughs> Okay, so uh, since we are talking about Worth It, um, like we would, I guess, love to know a few lines from Worth It in your, yes? Um, so, do you want me to like sing it or explain? Yes, sing explain. It. <laughs> sing it, sing it. And then we were going to hear the explanation. Yeah, yeah, yeah so for sure, for sure. Um, resonates with me the most Thank is, um, so I'll sing it. Yes, <laughs> please, please do. Alright, cool. How come your favorite stories are about us? We never kiss when they're around us But when we sing, it's too loud And so, yeah <laughs> Just the lines? Yeah, yeah, No, no, so I think those, those okay. four lines are the ones that really like resonate with me Because, um, you know, a lot of times uh, we find ourselves in a, in a situation, a relationship where You know, everything makes sense and I like it and you like it and everything's good, but why are we not just like going along? Just yeah, no. Then why are we like putting everything into it, you know? And yeah. and I mean, I think it it somebody like wrote a comment on on the video on YouTube. I can't remember the name, but it was really it's like the top comment on the thing. Okay. Um, and they said that it's kind of like a look at modern day relationships. Namade uh, ajugerje the culture of relationships right. and um, how you know people you know back in the day it used to be like all in like I love you you love me then we're doing this right. <laughs> it's know? all but clean and clear yeah yeah, yeah. but uh, these days it's a little it's confusing. a little more confusing you know because there's so much going on and there's so much um, I think different kinds of communication on social media between everyone that you can have. Um, let's get get back to the time uh, when you realized or finally like set up your mind that you really want to sing. Yeah. Uh, you want to sing, or you want to want to be a singer, like. So. Just it was back in childhood, like how yeah, was that? Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, like I said, the idea was never there to sing. That idea was never like concrete, yeah, me, I'm going to be this singer, songwriter, or artist, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but it was after I graduated from college, mm -hmm. and um, I, I met this guy mm -hmm. um, whose name is Devesh. Mm -hmm. And just one night, we were just like hanging out, and he's a producer, so he's like, yo, like, let's make something. I was like, dude, yeah, let's make something. And then... Mm -hmm. We made it and then it was kind of, I had so much fun. Mm -hmm. I think the reason was because with music you can make something mm -hmm. and you can create something and it's there, like it's tangible. Right. Um, and we, when an instant, when an outcome, with a take, and you can do something with it. You can put it out, you can show it to people, you can be like, hey, I made this, do you like it? Oh. And then you can get an answer that yes or no, I don't like it. Okay. Um, and when I was, you know, back when I was like focused on acting and doing film, the process is so much longer. Uh, yeah. You know, exactly. right. and what I like with music is that, you know, I can create, keep on creating, keep on creating. Mm. And some will be bad, some will be good, but like uh, yeah. you can keep doing it. And so that's what really, really drew me to this kind of form. Because like I've always been obsessed with like create, creative stuff. So if it was acting or painting or anything like that. And that inspired you, I guess, yeah, yeah, for 
for whatever you are right now yeah. okay so of course since we learn about je you know family we family theke to mane family to dekhe asha hoyeche je your mom is an artist yeah. and then uh, since then i think uh, we can say that your family supported you 100% on this 100% yeah just touching on that like okay. uh yeah like i i feel like i've always been surrounded by creative people oh. growing up i mean like my mom for example you know my dad also is like he doesn't do anything creative but like his sense of style and fashion was like always like out there oh. like all the clothes i wear now is like my dad's clothes mm, <laughs> that's not even like yeah um because he has some really cool pieces from like way back when and you know my kala she's like a jewelry designer yes. and that's like awesome my cousins i've always seen them you know like painting dancing all this kind of stuff mm-hmm. um on my paternal and my maternal mm-hmm. side so it's it's like kind of like i've been growing in this kind of thing with these guys influencing me Washing, yes, yes. yeah so 100% so uh, let me ask you this like why little late no. <laughs> <laughs> like are you late oh, everywhere yeah, that's yeah, the reason yeah. they, oh. someone calling you little late no that's so why you chose that or? so i think the <laughs> So we were we were we were uh I work with um uh another producer named Arif. Uh-huh. So he's also Bangladeshi. He's half Bangladeshi, half American. Uh-huh. He's a very very talented producer. Okay. Um all my music is pretty much been made by these two people, Devesh and Arif. We always work together. Okay. Um and so uh me and Arif would literally amra dosha shomoy uthe am chole jeto amar bashay. And then we'd work all day like just like <laughs> sitting in his house looking at khachi boshe si everything and then um we'd like stay till super late like 2 3 in the morning just making music and uh so when he would like when i would show up i would always be like a little <laughs> late, late. Okay. and so he started just like calling me a little late and he's oh, yeah you showed up late over here yeah. also you were yeah, a little yeah. late <laughs> <laughs> And also because like I the main I think core of my music is going to be like R&B kind of hip hop soul kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So I think it fits that kind of genre. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean there will definitely be songs like worth it because I love that but mm-hmm. but yeah, it'll be uh, a little more hip hop centric. So yeah. Okay. Even if it's a little late, it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay so uh right now we're going to play a very different segment with you so the segment is called who would you rather be yeah. so i'm going to tell you two names each and you're going to choose which of the personality that you would rather be so can we start yes. okay let's start so the first one would you rather be sakib khan or sakib al hasan <laughs> <laughs> oh man no <laughs> No, but I I no, I think I know the answer because um I am like a super fan. I no, okay, so I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. Okay. I've never been into cricket too much. Okay. But this past World Cup, I was here and I watched like so like all the games. Oh, awesome. And I kind of like fell in love with cricket, which is so weird because <laughs> I never thought I would. Okay. But I think I got it finally in the intensity of it and mm. Shakib Hasan killed it. Like yeah. he He did actually. He did amazing. And so love you man. Shakib Hasan then. <laughs> okay. Uh Iron Man or Black Panther? Ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. That's ooh, a hard ooh, one. That's, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. Um I think I would choose uh black panther just because that suit is so cool oh wakanda forever <laughs> okay the suit is really cool so it's uh next one is trek or kanye west oh man those are like oh. <laughs> two of my favorite artists i um, knew it yes <laughs> okay. okay let me see mm-hmm. trek or kanye west yeah, i can't think... take more than 10 seconds okay yeah uh 10 9 eight, seven, five. Drake. Yeah, drake drake okay Always, that's yeah. okay drake also <laughs> uh orthohin or warface Ooh. Mm. <laughs> I think Warface. I like Warface more. Okay, man. Yeah. Warface. <laughs> But I also really like our team. So, Alternate, yeah. Okay. So, uh next one is Ross or Chandler. Oh my god. You guys going to be really <laughs> mad at me, but I this is and like my friends get really mad at me for this but I don't watch friends. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you just zoom in this face? Oh man. Yeah, yeah. Um but but of course I know who they are. I think 
So Could you be more serious? Uh, I think I'm more of a Ross type type character because I mean I know of friends I know the people, stuff, people. Right? <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Glenn Ross is it and last one is uh, not that much first I think for you Kim Jong-un or Donald Trump I can't Who choose one of those um, no one I think I have to just lose the game if that's oh. what it means I can't choose no okay. I don't think I can pick Let's one of those not. guys yeah no I mean um, yeah, no, 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 I'm not going <laughs> to choose any of those guys. Okay, so that ends our this segment, Who Would You Rather Be? You did great, you did great. Clap for that. Okay, so, uh, but last but not least, the questions that actually is going on in my mind, that uh, when are we expecting your next album or song or anything that we can expect of? Um, so I am definitely working a lot on your music. Oh. Um, we have a lot of songs that are already done, that are ready to be put out. Uh, we're just waiting for, I guess, like the right time, and then we'll put it out, but very soon, so don't worry about that. Don't be a little late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. And I definitely, we're definitely going to get uh, another video coming soon, and this in year, terms... Yeah, I think we're going to get one more okay, this year, this hopefully. Year then? Okay. We're going to work on that, mm -hmm. and um, in terms of uh, an album, I think I want to... I think I'm gonna try and put out an EP by the end of the year. So like just like a, a five track EP, um, end of the year, or early next year. So yeah. Perfect. Sure. Perfect. So we already know about your plan. So we're gonna getting uh, music videos and new songs from Sean, aka a little late. He's not gonna be late by the way this time. Okay. So, uh, so do you have any message for our emerging singers uh, of this country? Like you, since you are a young artist. So there are also new artists coming over every day. So yeah. any situation, anything that um, you want to say. I just want to say that the past like week, um, I was lucky enough to meet a few artists um, that are not only from Dhaka but from like Kulna, from mm -hmm. Silet, oh. and these guys are they blew me away. They're so good, okay. and they definitely um, you know know the. They, they know the wave, they know what's going on right now, and Uder Gantri now is just like floored. Um, and so I think there is a lot of talent. You know, the whole, I think, okay, so yeah, I wanna give this advice for sure that it's in this day and age, mm -hmm. I think the industry is so saturated um, because of the access to putting music out now, you're, because it's so accessible, and it's so easy to put stuff out now. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, with different platforms of social media, we can put it out. Um, and so I think the key point is to uh, be good on like your marketing and your business side of things because, um, you know, if you can advertise the music properly and get it out there to people to listen to, then that's where the game is now because Gan already has to be good. Gan Bhalo na hole, thalo to kono yehi ne. Mane shawar gan bhalo. No shawar gan bhalo. Everyone has the sound. Everyone has the you know skills to do it. But I think where the game has shifted is you have to be able to know how to market it and how to put it out. Um, and you know make connections. I think collaboration is probably the best way. Right now. As well. Um, um, I'm just starting as well, and so I think I'm on the same boat as a lot of you guys. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the key is just to keep, you know, keep trying to better yourself, keep making more music, make as much music as you can. And, um, you know, everyone has doubts once in a while. That's natural for any creative person. But you just have to push through that and just keep doing it. And keep doing it until you get there. So, yeah. Okay, so keep doing it and uh, thank you so much guys uh, for being with us but before we go we have a request, I have a personal request actually, if you can hear four lines or five lines of 3M, oh, only if you're ready, only if you're ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So after that we're oh, gonna yeah, wrap yeah, this yeah. up. Um, <laughs> uh, so okay, yeah, cool. I'm just trying to remember the lyrics. Oh, okay. 3AM on my own. Girl, I'm gone Tell me how much longer Till I fall asleep Girl, it always bothers me Seeing my sleep Just out of reach And I took you so I'm not there Not there And I miss you when I'm out there Out there 
Baby, I was wrong You always seem so strong And now I'm standing out here feeling alone Yeah yeah. <laughs> Who are you, girl? This song is pretty deep, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it was good, it was yeah, good. Yeah. So, uh, anything that you want to say to the viewers of UNB? Oh man, UNB. Um, you know, I've grown up, like, I've grown up seeing my, my Kalu and my Kala, you know, um, kind of do just the coolest things with UNB. Um, you know, with all the work that they're doing, you know, with the press, with news and stuff, but also on the creative side with Cosmos Gallery or Gallery Cosmos and bringing, um, you know, up and coming visual artists and, you know, just promoting creativity and art in general. My cousins and they're taking it even further. And so I think just to kind of keep that legacy going, you know, I'm trying to do what I can to kind of promote, um, you know, promote Bangladesh and, you know, show that there's a lot of cool creative stuff coming out of here. Definitely. And, um, yeah, so, you know, I hope UMB keeps, you know, doing stuff like this. Thank you. And uh, keeps um, promoting art, creativity, and just the culture. So, <laughs> so yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks no, no, for thank being so in our... Me. Like, thanks for being here, thanks for being in our show, it was yeah. great hosting you and thank you so much guys uh, for being with us. I think this uh, episode is one of the you know coolest episodes you have you will have ever seen. And this is Lil Late Sean. Please like his page, watch his video, and also like this video and show some love. So till then, be good, be artistic, and have fun. Yes.